In 1968, it was announced that several city blocks in Strathcona would be leveled out to make room for more appropriate social housing. Part of a decade-long urban renewal plan, demolition would include the southern edge of the neighborhood along with all of Chinatown to fit an eight-lane freeway. Attempting to link Highway 1 with Corral Street and the Burrard in the waterfront area, the freeway would extend to the North Shore by bridge. Favorable to those living in the suburbs commuting into the city, the freeway was part of a plan to modernize and beautify the downtown core by bringing people into the new shopping districts. The reality of such plans meant the demolition of areas in moral decline, and for this reason, older neighborhoods like Chinatown and Strathcona were scheduled for demolition, ultimately wiping out the history, culture, livelihoods, and well-being of the residents that lived in them. Now we're driving along Pryor Street, the location of what would have been a raised eight-lane highway. As you can see, it's a neighborhood, there's houses, sidewalks, parks. So right now we're coming from east and we're cutting through Strathcona and we'll come up onto the viaduct which is the only part of the highway that actually ended up being funded and built. Chinatown is sort of to the right and here we land at what would have what was Hogan's Alley. Our little fight began to connect with the bigger fight and then we saw all these incredibly brilliant people from UBC and SFU and students and faculty and so on got involved and, and they were they were probably leading from their end because they were fighting the freeway from their end but our fight got connected to their fight and so we had a, a much broader anti-freeway fight that we were able to join so that really had an impact on public policy over three phases of renewal, residents eventually gained sympathy from local council members and garnered the attention of Federal Minister of Transport Robert Andras, who ultimately ceased funding for the redevelopment project. The final phase of renewal was brought to an end by a citywide protest in 1968. The freeway fight represents more than just one protest, however. It represents the coming together of local residents from all walks of life to fight against urban renewal. Women like Mary Lee Chan mobilized her community and gave Chinatown and Strathcona a voice. Vancouver would not be the city it is today without the freeway fight.